हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्चुअल लिमिट हियर राइट सो हियर वी हैव टू डिस्कस दिस लिमिट दैट इज लिमिट एक्सटेंस टू जीरो एंड हियर वी हैव मॉड ऑफ एक्स रेज टू ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर ऑफ कोसाइन एक्स राइट सो हियर इन दिस लिमिट वी हैव द मॉड फंक्शन एंड द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन right so let us uh, discuss this limit and let us see uh, whether this limit exist or not right so in order to uh, calculate this limit uh, we will uh, calculate the right hand limit and the left hand limit right and we'll see uh, whether the right hand limit or the left hand limit uh, exist or not right and here uh, we'll also uh, see Uh, the graph of cosine function right so we'll uh, make use of the graph of cosine function uh, to arrive at the uh, right hand limit and the left hand limit right so now to calculate the uh, right hand limit uh, we'll write rhl and uh, we'll write limit x tends to 0 uh, plus and uh, we have the function uh, mod of x raised to Uh, greatest integer of cosine x right and here i will take now uh, x is equal to 0 plus h where h is uh, uh, a positive quantity h is positive and h is a very very small uh, quantity right and it lies between uh, 0 and 1 right so we'll here take x is equal to 0 plus h here we have 0 because see uh, here uh, when we calculate the right hand limit uh, then we are approaching towards x is equal to 0 uh, from the right of x is equal to uh, 0 right so we'll take x is equal to 0 plus h so this is 0 plus h is simply h right so now the right hand limit can be written as limit h tends to 0 and for mod of x we can now write 0 plus h here for x and here we have the greatest integer of cosine of uh, 0 plus h right so now this can be written as limit h tends to 0 and here we have simply mod of h and uh, raised to uh, the greatest integer of cosine h right okay now uh, here now uh, what we will do uh, let us uh, leave this uh, right hand limit here and let us uh, obtain a similar uh, expression for the left hand limit right and then uh, we'll draw the graph of cosine function uh, to calculate the right hand limit and the left hand limit right so the left hand limit can be written as limit and here we have uh, x tends to uh, 0 and here we have the negative sign to indicate that uh, when we uh, calculate the right hand uh, left hand limit then we are approaching towards x is e x is equal to 0 from the left of x is equal to uh, 0 right so here we have uh, mod of x uh, raised to uh, the greatest integer of cosine x right so here uh, we'll take x is equal to 0 minus h right so see in the neighborhood of x is equal to 0 uh, here we have the point uh, 0 plus h right and towards the left of x is equal to 0 and very close to x is equal to 0 we have this point uh, 0 minus h right so 0 plus h it lies towards the right of x is equal to 0 but very close to x is equal to 0 and 0 minus h lies towards the left of x is equal to 0 and very close to x is equal to 0 right and here uh, we'll take x is equal to 0 minus h that is simply minus h and when x tends to 0 uh, here h tends to 0 right and h is uh, again a positive quantity and h lies between 0 and 1 right so the left hand limit is now limit and here we have h tends to 0 mod of 0 minus h and here we have the greatest integer of cos of minus 
h that is 0 minus h right so here we have 0 minus h which is minus h so here also we can write a mod of minus h right okay so now since uh, this uh, quantity h is a positive quantity right so we can replace this uh, mod of uh, h is equal to h and this uh, mod of minus h as h right so now the expression for uh, right hand limit is limit h tends to 0 and we have h raised to greatest integer of uh, cos of h right and here a uh, mod of minus h can be replaced by h so we can now write the left hand limit as the limit h tends to 0 and h raised to uh, greatest integer of cos of minus h right and from trigonometry we know we know that cos of minus theta is equal to uh, cos of theta right so cos of minus h can be written as simply a cos of h right so here uh, we have cos of h right so now here we see that we have the same expression for uh, the right hand limit as well as for the uh, left hand limit and now uh, we have to calculate limit h tends to 0 h raised to greatest integer of cos h cos of h right so to move further uh, let us uh, draw the graph of uh, cosine function so now here we have the x-axis and y-axis right and the graph of cosine function it goes like this right so here uh, we have the uh, point uh, pi by 2 this point is pi by 2 and here uh, we have uh, this point as minus uh, pi by 2 right and then we'll go like this so this is a, a rough diagram and here we have uh, x is equal to uh, 0 right so now uh, if we look at this uh, graph of uh, cos x then we see that here we have uh, plus 1 and here we'll have the uh, negative 1 right so here we have x is equal to 0 and here we have uh, uh, the maximum value of cosine function that is plus 1 right and see here we have to find the value of greatest integer of uh, cos of h right where h is a positive quantity but uh, uh, it lies between 0 and 1 and h is infinitesimally very very small right so here uh, this point that is h or 0 plus h it lies very close to x is equal to 0 right so here we have uh, this point as uh, 0 plus h and uh, uh, to, towards the left of x is equal to 0 uh, here we have uh, the point uh, 0 minus h right so towards the right of x is equal to 0 and very close to 0 uh, we have this point 0 plus h and this point as 0 minus h right now if we uh, take the value of uh, cos of 0 plus h right so see uh, if we uh, draw a perpendicular uh, a line like this so here we have this uh, value is uh, cos of h right and similarly if we uh, draw a line uh, like this then here we have uh, the value of uh, cos of 0 minus h right so see uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, the value of cos of 0 plus h this point and here uh, this point is cos of 0 minus h right and we know that cos of uh, minus h is equal to cos of h right and uh, this point which is below uh, plus 1 
is uh, denoting the value of cos of h or cos of minus h and we see that uh, from the graph that this value this value is less than 1 right and it is greater than 0 so we can say that cos of h it lies between 0 and 1 right so from the graph we see that the value of cosine h and cosine of minus h it is less than 1 but greater than 0 right so the greatest integer of cosine h must be equal to 0 right because cos h it lies between 0 and 1 right so now uh, the uh, right hand limit uh, can be written as c here we have limit h tends to 0 h raised to the greatest integer of cos h right so the right hand limit can now be written as limit h tends to 0 and we have h raised to 0 because the greatest integer of cosine h is 0 right and h raised to 0 because h is a positive quantity so h raised to 0 is 1 so here we have 1 right and similarly in the left hand limit uh, we have a limit h tends to 0 and h raised to 0 because again the greatest integer of cos h is equal to 0 so we have h raised to 0 that is equal to uh, 1 right so we see that the uh, right hand limit and the left hand limit uh, are both equal to 1 so we conclude that the right hand limit it exists and uh, it is finite and equal to 1 similarly the left hand limit it exists and it is finite and equal to 1 and the right hand limit is equal to the left hand limit and both the limits are equal to 1 hence we can claim that the value of this limit it exists and it is equal to 1 right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we can solve uh, this limit